What's going on Falcons fans, Logan here. Welcome back to Rise Up Rundown, and if you're new here, welcome. Now, I'm actually gonna have to apologize in advance because I feel like I'm gonna have to rush this video just a little bit. I have a pretty big event tomorrow in Tampa, Florida, so I'm gonna try and get ready for that. But anyway, shout out to Zachary Stone for the video idea. Why Matt Ryan could win MVP again this season. I don't know if this is good, just trying to help. My man, this is an excellent idea and I have decided to make a video on it. So thank you for the video suggestion. And apparently Pro Football Focus is also thinking Matt Ryan has a pretty good chance to win MVP with 33 to 1 odds to win 2020 MVP. But in this video, we're going to go over my thoughts on why Matt Ryan could win the 2020 league MVP. The first reason being, let's get this one out of the way. He's been there, done that. Matt Ryan knows what it takes to win league MVP. He's done it before. And seemingly every year, he just kind of always does have an MVP type season. At least every other year. Like he does good. And this doesn't necessarily mean anything. I just kind of noticed this. But... Seemingly every even numbered year is his best year like in 2014 he took off 2016 he won MVP 2018 he had statistically a very similar season to his MVP season Well 2020 is an even numbered year and I'm not saying that it's just guaranteed He's gonna have like an MVP type season or whatever. I think you get what I'm trying to say It's just seemingly every year he does play like an MVP and he has done it before he's been there done that moving on the next reason is he seemingly always thrives in year two under a new offensive coordinator. Kyle Shanahan, the first year working with him, Matt Ryan did not necessarily have a good year, but the year after that with Kyle Shanahan, he won league MVP and he just had a very historic season for an NFL quarterback. And then after that, he was with a new offensive coordinator, Steve Sarkeesian, he definitely did not do as good the year before, but the year after that, still with Steve Sarkeesian, he had a very similar season to his MVP season from 2016. Well, he has a new offensive coordinator, Dirk Cutter. Year one, it wasn't a bad season, but definitely could have been better. 2020? I don't know. We'll see. And then the last reason, and this is going to sound a little goofy, but I think it actually makes sense. It sounds like life is good on and off the field for Matt Ryan. Now, obviously, I don't know Matt Ryan personally, but it seems like, at least on social media, that his life is pretty good so far. And if life is pretty good, tell him, I'm just going to tell you right now, you do really good in everything you do. If you're just really happy, it seems like Matt Ryan's really happy right now. Like, life is just so good. Um, that's good for him. So he's obviously probably going to play better because of that. But not just off the field, because obviously I don't know him off the field. But on the field, he's got a great group of weapons, Julio Jones, Calvin Ridley. He loves Todd Gurley in the backfield and Hayden Hurst. Not that we know exactly what he's going to be, but it sounds like he's going to be a pretty good tight end. He's very athletic and has good hands. And we all know Matt Ryan loves throwing to tight ends. He's going to have a good group of receivers to throw it to, including Todd Gurley. Now, I don't know if Matt Ryan's definitely going to win league MVP in 2020, but it is definitely possible. Let's just root for Matt Ryan because at the end of the day, this man deserves respect. I don't know why people continuously hate him, but he's going to get the respect he deserves and that could start in 2020. And I do apologize for rushing that a little bit. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. I will see you guys with a video this Tuesday at 11 o'clock a.m. Eastern. Love and appreciate you all for the support. And as always, rise up.